Welcome to devlog number 12, I'm Vinny and this is Firestar. In this video I will show the different methods to change specific colors from sprites, like skin, hair and costume colors. Recently I decided to reveal how I was handling my character's skin colors, and I ended experimenting three different methods. Changing the modulate, using shaders and replacing pixel colors. I will show you how I've done each one of them and what are my thoughts about it. Let me start by the method I was using, changing the modulate. You probably already know about the modulate property. It basically adds a tint to your sprite. The problem with using modulate for skin tones is that it will mess with all the colors in the image. If you watched my devlog number 2 about character customization, you may have seen that my characters are composed of many layers. Some of those layers I call base layers, they are all white and I change the modulate to define skin tones. Here's an example using a simplified character. This approach works well, but it does add some complexity when animating your characters. It's kind of messy having to jump between layers while drawing, and depending on how you organize your layers, you may end up with more nodes in Goto. The second approach is using a simple fragment shader to change only the pixels containing a given color. In this example here, I defined the areas I want to change as a bright green. You can choose any color, but make sure you choose one that you don't need to use in your assets. In Goto, I created a sprite node with this image, then I created a new shader material, and I set the color replacement shader to it. I then defined the origin and replacement color full shader parameters. You can see in the editor that it worked straight away. And here's how I change the shader parameter programmatically. Now let me show you the third approach that's replacing the color in the image. This approach kind of works like the shader, but it only needs to be executed once. And as it's just regular GD script, it does not have the benefit of running the GPU like the shader. So I'm adding the script to the object I want to change the color. First you need to get your sprite texture, then you iterate over each pixel and change the ones that need to be changed. After that, you create a new texture using the altered image. You need to pass the flags as zero to disable all the filters so your pixel art doesn't look blurry. Finally, you set the new texture to your sprite node. As I said, the main benefit here is that your color change is calculated only once and not in every loop. However, it does add some code complexity. As I'm creating new textures in runtime, I thought this method would have a drastic impact in memory usage, but in the end it doesn't change much from the other methods. And in my test, the memory usage was even lower than the first approach, where I have multiple sprite nodes. After implementing all three approaches, I made some tests creating items on the fly and moving them around. There's not much difference actually, but keep in mind that that's far from being a real benchmark. As I said, my pixel art uses a low resolution, so it's not that noticeable. In Firestar, I decided to use one of my real skin colors as the color to be replaced, instead of the bright green you saw in my example. Using a real skin color helps me to visualize the contrast and values when creating new costumes. And I know this is not one of the colors I will be using in the costume anyway. If you want to play with this code yourself, you can find it in my GitHub, the link is in the description. I always make these samples available because, as a friend used to say, code doesn't lie. On that note, my sample repositories list is growing, and I'm thinking about unifying all my samples in a single one, or maybe create some kind of index for them. If you have any preference, leave it in the comments to help me decide. I hope this devlog was helpful in some way, if you enjoyed, leave your like. Also, don't be a stranger, subscribe to the channel. Also, share it with your friends and your enemies. Well, well, maybe not your enemies. Thanks for watching. See you next time.